This is the series for J-1 waiver process if you are married to a U.S. citizen and this will point to exceptional hardship waiver. This is a do-it-yourself process. I'm not an immigration lawyer, but I'm here to help and share my ideas on how I did it. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> Central Florida USA. My name is Emery and welcome to Powerful Couple Journey where we show you our random activities here and for today's video this is going to be the part one of the J1 waiver series on how I did the J1 waiver do-it-yourself process. So to start with we're going to do the form I-130. It is a petition for alien relative and your U.S. citizen spouse is going to submit this either online or via mail. What we did was we had our papers via online. My husband submitted the I-130 online. We use Amscot here in the county that we have. I don't know if you have Amscot in your place but you can use either USPS mail and with the website in the USCIS, they can also tell what are the fees and how you can pay either mail order, check, or credit card. But with this, we really make sure that we have funds since we're doing it ourselves and we don't want to spend more. And the time is really constrained if they're going to send back your papers again. So we wanted to do it right, which we are so happy that we had all the papers filed and they were granted your u.s citizen spouse just like my husband fill out all of the details with the i-130 i just had our marriage license next to him with my passport my birth certificate and other details that i have to put that way both of us know what to place in that specific blank so i'm gonna be showing to you here how i did it in this field so just follow along this is very confidential that's why i just filled the blanks and it's gonna be your information anyway so just fill it in and making sure that there's no blanks speaking of blanks you have to put n slash a or not applicable if the field that they have there is again not applicable to you you have to start in the section where they said start here use a black ink you have to follow the instruction what is stated there with the uscis they also have a pdf that will give you instruction this is for free if you have your immigration lawyer they're gonna help you fill out all those details but if you wanted to do it yourself then this is the process we did so there are part one to part nine that you have to answer with the part one is the information of your spouse so take a look at the blanks there and the information that i placed you can pause the video if you want to that way you'll be guided again this is a case-to-case -case basis with our marriage it's very simple i am single my husband is single no strings attached no divorce no kids so everything is straightforward you have to make sure the upper right corner there is not expired the date let's just say expires 2 28 2027 you have to make sure when you submit it it's not expired or else they're gonna return all your documents you don't want that or else you're gonna waste your time part one will be the relationship it's where the petitioner will have to put their details your petitioner is your u.s citizen spouse just take a look at what we did here that way you know and again this is a case-to-case -case basis i'm not an immigration lawyer i just did do-it-yourself process and this is how we did it it was in year 2021 it's year 2024 now they have a little bit of changes in their form but it's almost the same just make sure all the details are filled if you feel like this is not 
applicable to you, put N slash A or NA. Then we have to have the part two, information about the petitioner. Take a look at this. I did highlight the ones that I would like to fill and the ones that I do not want to fill is also placed there. Again, look at your situation. We are both single. That's why we don't have to answer a lot of these. Then another one in part two, part two and three, part four. I put my country the Philippines because I am from the Philippines and this is how I wanted to show you guys on how we fill out all the details. Again, if this helps you, please comment down below if what are the things or questions that you would like to ask from us. And this is detailed, hoping that this answers your question. We have a J1 Waiver Helping Hands group that I created. This is where I share all my ideas and we are about 3,000 J1 members there. Most especially Filipinos. Some of them are different nationalities. We welcome that. As long as you agree to group rules and you will be accepted immediately. Part 4. This is a continuation about the beneficiary. We, the spouse, are the beneficiary. Our petitioner is our U.S. citizen spouse. Continuation of the part four. Information about the beneficiary. Other information. In part five, this is very important. You have to let your partner or U.S. citizen spouse know that they have to sign and put the date. You do not want to miss to put your signature and the date when you filed this form. It is important to really put your signature. Tell your U.S. citizen spouse about that one. Part 7, if you have an interpreter, you have to put it there. But most likely, J1 teachers, it's easy for us to fill out these forms. Just help your husband in how to do this. Then, just put NA again for the blanks that is not applicable to you. If you have a preparer's name, you have to indicate that one as well. Part 8 is the information. You do not want to miss everything on this one because Form I-130 has page 1 to 12. If you are confused about the forms, then there is a PDF instruction also can be found in the USCIS.gov. Make sure you are in a legit website. And last part will be the part line at the back. If you wanted to fill out that one and there are certain information that you want to put, that is just an additional information. So if you don't have any information for this one, all you need to do is to put N slash A or NA. And that's what we did. So that's it for today. This is Form I-130. And the next time we're going to be doing is Form I-130A. It's a supplemental information for spouse beneficiary. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment with Powerful Couple Journey as we show you our immigration experiences with J1 Waiver. This is Emery. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Have a great day and God bless everyone.